Hi guys, I'm James and welcome back to Mostly Helpful. A couple of weeks ago I did a video where I upgraded this mag light to an LED bulb and I was really really impressed with the difference it made. So much so in fact that I emailed the place where I bought it, the torch site, and said to them I've done this, I've done a video and I'm really impressed. And they came back to me and said thank you ever so much for doing a video, is there anything else that we, you'd like to try and we'll send you a sample for free and that's exactly what they've done. So in this video, what I'm going to do is not play with my mag light anymore, although that is still working beautifully, and I'm going to upgrade a very, very different kind of torch. In this particular case, it's a torch I found in my wife's car shortly before we sold it, and it's a very generic torch. It's got no branding on it whatsoever. There's no manufacturer detail, nothing. But what it does have is a completely standard bulb, not like a mag light bulb, but a completely normal filament bulb, which I'm going to replace with the LED bulb that the very kind people at the talk site had already sent me. So let's have a look at what's involved in getting that changed. So as before, what I'm going to do is show you what the current bulb looks like against this plain wall. Let me just turn off these lights. And then here is how the torch looks. If I bring that in a bit closer you can see it's got a reasonably good spot, but again, very similar to the mag light with a normal bulb, it's very yellow and I'm expecting the LED bulb to be much, much whiter. So let's pause there and upgrade that bulb. So as before, really good fast delivery from the team at the torch site. The, um, after they told me they'd sent uh, a bulb in the post, that came in two days. Here's this torch. As I say, no markings, no branding, nothing on it other than this product code here. So. There's a little less uh, for people to understand here. Obviously, mag lights and upgrades, everyone's got a mag light, but um, this works on a very, very simple basis. So you just simply unscrew this reflector here. And if you have a look inside, the uh, standard filament bulb has a little uh, triangular cutout. Let's see if I can get that in. And then all you need to do is rotate it so that it meets up with the um, the fitting that's the the one way it can pull out and then it simply pulls out like that put that to one side the bulb supplied is a, a TTS 3W Cree non-polarity bulb so this is a simple fit no need to no polarity so a TTS 3W Cree comes in this nice little protective case let's pop that open there we go and again, exactly the same as that bulb. It's got this cut out here. There you go. Um, just there. So just line that up in my case with the existing uh, fitment in the housing. There we go. Let's make sure that's in. And that is just a case of taking the reflector and putting that back on there. That just screws in. And then let's check. Yeah, working. So let's show you that against the wall. So the new bulb is in and let's replicate exactly what we did before. Just turn off these lights again. And there we go. Really, really nice, bright white light. It does seem to have spread out a bit. I don't, maybe just where the bulb is different. But as you can see, a really nice tight white spot in the middle and a really nice even beam pattern. So really, uh, really makes a big difference. Very, very much worth doing. So there we go, guys. Another really nice, easy upgrade for a completely generic torch. Just a, a simple fit, uh, removal and refit of another bulb in a couple of minutes, as you've seen there. And fantastic results off this very generic, very unbranded, ordinary torch. I'll put links in the descriptions below. As I mentioned, this bulb was um, uh, free from the torch site. Thank you very much uh, to those guys there. That's uh, a great thing for me. Um, uh, this torch will live on and uh, do go and check them out. Thank you as always for watching. I do hope that's helpful and I look forward to coming to you in the next one very soon. Cheers and bye bye.